Hey everyone, Katie and Sergeant Steele here, and today I want to tell you about a brand new product that just hit the market. So what we have here is the new paintbrush set from Golden Maple. It comes in this great little canvas carrying case with a tie string, and then inside are all of these different paintbrushes. And there's a multiple of a few, uh, just to help you out and to help with some of those uh, kind of smaller size brushes there. What we're looking at is a set of dry brushes, a set of small scale brushes, your zero ones and twos here uh, that you can use with your deeper wells, which are great for painting small scale models like we do. Then we have some larger flat brushes um, and multiple sizes as well. So these are all number ones. And then we also have these really, really super fine detail brushes. So let me show you one. Let me pull out this 20 and zero. Look at that tiny, tiny tip. Now, this isn't exactly what I prefer, but when I need to get in there and I don't want a longer brush and I want to really have a lot of control, these great little wooden handles will allow for me to have a good grip, get in there and maybe work on something like the pupils on the eyes of a model or working on the fine details on them. So this is a 20 and zero. So. This is a great little set. I'm going to go ahead and try it out for the first time. As you can see, all this is still in plastic. So I have never used this before. I just got it. I'm going to go ahead and get the, I'm going to actually use these dry brushes to start with and then use some of these other brushes to paint some of these uh, Renegade Guardsmen that I have here. Okay, I got some Dawnstone here, which is going to be my medium gray color that I'm going to go ahead and brush this model in. Got it just a little heavier than what I wanted. There we go. All right, so what we're on to do, right? We're doing what a lot of folks call the slap chop method. So I want to avoid the recessed areas and I want to try to pick up on all the raised areas on the model here. All right, just like that. Give it a nice gray base coat. So this brush seems to be performing well. I'm really liking the way it's applying and it seems to be holding its shape even as I'm working through dry brushing this on. Now that we have our gray for me on here, let's go with our white. So I'm gonna use the same size brush, this number four, kind of makeup dry brush they have here. Yep, want this to be much lighter this time. Okay, next, I'm gonna be using the number one brush here to clean up some of that dry brushing because I wasn't just quite happy with how some of that white went on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and then just hit a few highlight lines around the edge of a few things. Oop. Next, I'm gonna use some Games Workshop contrast paints to go ahead and put down my panel nest. And now I'm using the number two brush from the set. So let's see how this works.
here's what I think is the ultimate test of a good deep walled brush like this. Can it hold a point while I get in some details here? So I have some metallic paints on my paint palette. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying them. As you can see, even despite the size of this brush, I am able to keep very good control. And I kind of suspected as much. Here we go. I'm sure many of you are wondering midpoint in this video, Keisha Sergeant Steele, why are you painting with contrast paints? We've never seen you do it. Well, to be quite honest, I do paint with contrast paints. The mostly on projects like this, where I don't want to do as much detail or time as I do on my standard Cadians. So this works out really well just for those projects for me. All right, next thing we're gonna do is add some wash to the metallics on this model. So I think they've dried enough. So I got a little Agrax air shade here and I still got my number two brush. So I'm just gonna go around, apply this over the metallics, just to dirty them down a little bit. This is a renegade guardsman after all. So he doesn't have the discipline to clean his equipment. Way to Cadians do, so I won't even be cleaning this metal back up. I'm just going to be leaving it dirty. So this number two brush seems to be working very well, uh, even for doing shades. Although it may not be the first pickup brush that I use, so that's why I wanted to try it though, just to see how this is going to work out. So overall, I'm very happy with this so far. You can see I'm able to apply the shade fairly easily over the model. Next, using the number two brush, the larger brush in the set with a deep well, I'm gonna see if I can hold a tip, and paint the eyes in on this bottle. Okay, you gotta forgive me on that one because it's really hard to capture this on camera. So the answer is yes, look at that. That came out really well. So now we got our glowing red eyed heretic here. That's it, that, I mean, Really, besides doing the basing, that worked out really well. And I'm really impressed with these brushes and how that worked. Look at that. Painted this whole thing up in less than five minutes using these brand new brushes, and they worked really well. So I will use a little brush soap, clean these up, take care of them. But that's it. That's the new brushes from Golden Maple. This is a very large brush set and a very nice travel case. It can even like roll up. You can tie it shut, comes with all the little brush protectors in it on the top, so you can keep using those and keep your brushes protected. This runs about $29, but if you order it using the discount code down in the link or up on the screen, then you can get 10% off of this on Amazon and you can get it down to almost $26 for all of these paintbrushes, which is a really good deal. So if you're looking to get a large set of paintbrushes to hold you out for a while, uh, I know I burn through paintbrushes pretty well, then this is something I definitely recommend kind of checking out, trying out and seeing what you think of it as well. So try out the new Golden Maple paintbrushes and see what you think too. All right, guys, as always, happy wargaming and Cadius stands. <laughs>